In today's lesson, we're going to talk about enterprise computing. We're going to discuss how um, we differentiate um, enterprise computing with personal computing and contrast those two uh, topics. So, in the previous lesson, we talked about personal computing and some of the technology that you may use in your home. We're going to talk about enterprise computing and how those um, differ from each other on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm also going to discuss a little bit about how uh, enterprise computing, um, you use this stuff every day. So you may not realize it, um, but you use a lot of it. Hey, it's just not that simple. So that's the title of what you may see on the slide. It's really not that simple. Um, when somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I need to back up my computer. Well, uh, you know, they come to me with a hundred dollar little um, external hard drive. And I say, well, that's not going to cut it. And they say, well, what do you mean that's not going to, what do you mean it's not going to cut it? Um, I just spent a hundred dollars on this external hard drive. Well, let's think about this. So we have files that may be sensitive. What happens if you get a virus? Not only is your computer wiped out, but now your backup is wiped out as well. So now we have to double the amount of versions that we have so that we can make sure that we always have a clean version. So that means two now external hard drives. What about disparate locations? What about an off-site backup? What happens if you lose that backup? So there's so many things that we need to look at in enterprise computing. Um, we need to consider cost. We need to consider security and business continuity as well. So the previous lesson really taught you that personal computing is really based off convenience and not necessity. Well, this is the opposite. So enterprise computing is based off of necessity, not convenience. So think about every, all the technologies that we talked about in the previous video. Um, we talked about wireless, we talked about routers, we talked about uh, various other, like thermostats, for example. In the enterprise, we need all those devices to work together to um, really make our enterprise run. So cost um, is really not, while it is a concern, um, it's not as big as concern as your personal computers. Can you go at and spend thousands of dollars on your home computer or thousands of dollars on a, uh, to make your home automated? Probably not, but enterprises need this technology. So let's dive into uh, four different things here. So reliability, scalability, manageability, and cost. So the first one is reliability. So reliability focuses really on um, how often things break. So if we take two different hard drives, let's say that we take a Western Digital, what we call a blue drive, and we take a um, HGST uh, desk star, okay? These two hard drives are contrasted massively. The reason why is our blue drives or even green drives, which are uh, meant for home computing, only have a certain number of hours between failures. That's called MTBF, mean time between failures. So where our, our Hitachi or our HGST drives are rated for a, a million hours running, our blue drives or our green drives are not that way. So think about the external drives I just talked about. Do we want our external drives built out of the Western Digital blue drives? Probably not. We want the most enterprise class or enterprise grade technology that we can have because we need that reliability. Okay, parts are constantly being used. My desktop is on 24-7. I never turn it off. 
The reason is I need to access it at all different times. So it's really not a power issue. Um, my computer actually only uses, if I, I actually have a meter on it, it only uses 17 watts, even though it's a very powerful system and has a 750 watt power supply. It barely uses any resources, but I need it on. So it uses less than almost a light bulb. Okay, um, equipment takes more abuse in an enterprise as well. So we need to make sure it's enterprise class and reliable. Scalability is the next topic. So how much do I have to scale in order to make it an enterprise class environment? Can I have um, thousands of computers online at the same time accessing, let's say, wireless, for example? It's not going to work uh, to my advantage uh, to have a home router uh, for thousands of computers. So I need something that's enterprise grade that can handle that. What about power? Think about the processor that you use at home. Are you concerned with the power consumption? Generally not. Are we concerned with power consumption in the enterprise? Absolutely. Because it costs us money. So if we buy a certain power uh, level of processor, uh, we need to think about that scaled across thousands of computers. Next is manageability. How can I manage these thousands of computers? Um, what is built into that to help manage all of them? So, for example, Intel has vPro technology built into a lot of their enterprise grade um, CPUs. Um, can I install also what I want to on systems? How do I manage all those uh, pieces of software all over the place? Okay, what data? is on my devices. How can I manage that data? And what about cost? In the long run, we still need to be concerned about cost. But if we scale out and we have manageability and reliability, we should drive down those costs if we're looking at the whole. Okay, um, from the last lesson, computers. Your home computer um, is really based off of uh, convenience, maybe a web browser. Enterprise grade, we may need something a little bit more robust. Maybe we need something with a graphics card in it. Maybe we don't. So it's really about what the person is doing with their computer that drives what we do with, our, with the enterprise grade computer, not the home computer for convenience. Okay, printers also at home are designed only to maybe print 10 pages a day at maximum. In an enterprise, what happens when you have hundreds, thousands of students wanting to print something out? You need a large printer, an enterprise grade printer, that's thousands of dollars in order to uh, make sure that um, it's reliable. So networks. Um, we don't just have a router. Uh, for example, that you see at your house uh, in an enterprise system. There's many, many different devices. Um, the reason for that is because millions of sessions. And um, how do we have ways of processing all that data? It's not just off of one device. We can't do everything in one device. Okay, so um, the last thing I want to talk about is automation. So industrial control systems such as um, set point systems is, is one of those that controls um, the HVAC in a building, okay? Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, okay? So um, the heating controls, uh, lighting, that's all operated by computers to drive down costs. If I have a building that um, isn't being used on the weekend, do I want to heat that building to 72 degrees? Probably not. Maybe I want to drop that down to 65 degrees. Okay. Um, security controls is another big concern where I may spend thousands of dollars on a security of a building. Um, I may only spend $100 on my home. So in conclusion, enterprise computing is built off of necessity. 
I need to make sure that my users in the enterprise are being productive. I need to make sure I can have reliable computing systems. Um, I need to make sure that they can scale and I need to manage them. So not like our home computing devices where everything is based off convenience. Sure, I would love to automate my entire home, but it is not a necessity. Can I walk down the stairs and turn the thermostat up when it's cold? Yes, I don't need a Nest or even an enterprise uh, grade industrial control system to turn my heat up for me. So think about that when you're looking and contrasting and comparing enterprise grade systems with computing systems. Um, we look at necessity in enterprise and convenience in personal computing.